Today I've got a little bit of 7.62 by 39 brass that somebody gave to me. It's really in pretty rough shape. It's filthy inside and out. Um, there's powder burned to the inside of it. It's really crusty. There's some leaves and I think I saw a dead spider in, in one of them. Um, you can see they're just, they're just a mess and they're all beat up and dented up. So I'm going to go ahead and try to breathe some life back into these. First thing I've done is I've went ahead and deprimed them using the Lee Universal Decapping Die, and that way I don't mess up my dies with these really nasty cases. I use the Lee Universal Decapping Die most of the time. I like it because the rod that holds the decapping pin is just a thin rod. It doesn't touch the inside of the case, such as one of these, your traditional has a mandrel that resizes the inside of the case neck. By decapping this way, you get to clean your cases before they go into your dies. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and tumble these um, to get them clean. And I'm going to be tumbling them in stainless steel pins. which look like this. So the stainless steel pins, they do a really good job getting the inside and the outside clean. Primer pockets, all the little sections. And I tumble these wet, so in warm water with a little bit of dish soap and a little bit of citrus cleaner. I'll go ahead and show you how this works. So I'm gonna go ahead and dump my brass into the drum. This drum has a rubber lining on it. I'm also going to go ahead and throw some 36 brass in there with it that I'd like to clean. Now one thing that's important when tumbling is you can tumble different types of cases together, but you don't want to tumble cases that will fit inside of each other, like this 7.62 by 39 and 44 Magnum, because they will get stuck in there and then you'll have problems. All right, here's our brass in the drum. I'm going to share with you a secret recipe that my grandma passed down to me. She always had the cleanest brass out there. Lemmy Shine. This is uh, a powdered dishwasher detergent, and it's primarily citric acid. That's what's important here. So, 145 ACP case full of that. Warm water. And a squirt of dish soap. I filled it so the water level is roughly three quarters full. And we'll put our top on and we're ready to go. Okay, I usually tumble stuff for about two hours. I have a timer. I'm going to set it for four hours just in case I uh, forget it, about it and I won't run all night. And here's our brass after the stainless steel cleanup. Looks nice and shiny, but we still have these bent up case mouths. I'm using a pair of needle nose pliers. I chose to use some that have a smooth face on them. And I'm just going to bend some of these case mouths open a little bit. Make some adjustments so that they'll go into the die a little bit better. A lot of them don't need it. They should uh, correct themselves in the die. But you can give them a little bit of help on the really bad ones. All right, here's one of our cases with the dented up mouth. Got the cases here, been lubing them up. Using the Lee full length sizing die. And what we end up with here looks pretty good. Here I'm trimming the cases with a Forster trimmer.
After trimming, I'll deburr using a tool like this one from Lee or this one from Lyman. And here's our finished product. So we went ahead and we cleaned them, we lubed them, we sized them, we trimmed them, we deburred them. Ready for action here. There's fewer cases here than I started with because I already went ahead and loaded a bunch of them up with these Lee lead cast bullets and we fired them out of the AK. If you'd like to watch that video, go ahead and click here and uh, see what happened. Thanks for watching and have a great day.